Hello and welcome everybody, J-Man back, continuing my uh, hardcore playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Hope you're all doing well out there, whatever day of the week it is for you. So when we last left off, we were here at the engraver in Sasau, uh, looking into the whole uh, deal with the uh, the counterfeit Groshen. Um, so yeah, and let's just go ahead and dive back on in. Um, so, yeah, so we found out, uh, what did we find out? We, we talked to the engraver and, uh, what is the message of, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to go find Florian. Uh, Florian's up to some no good and we need to see what that is. Florian is the, uh, the assistant of the master yeah. engraver and if you played the game or seen my blind playthrough, you know where this is all leading. So, uh, for those that uh, yeah. have not seen this quest, I'll try to keep it a little spoiler free. Uh, let's see. So, we need to yeah. heal. Florian lives uh, right there uh, in the basement of the tailor, yeah. I want to say. They call it some sort of a, a basement kind of a thing. It's not really a basement, but... 11th hour, hello, what's going on? How are you doing today? Mom! <laughs> All righty then. So he lives right. Uh, hang on. Was it not here by the tailor? Wait. I thought. But his room was like right here. Uh. All right. Am I having some sort of a senior moment? Point allegedly had a dispute with some bath house, ma house madam. The master didn't tell me what's. Going on. Do I the We need to get a call from work. Oh joy. <laughs> uh come on. So is it because we haven't done something? That door's gonna magically open or something? Someone in Sass House supplying counterfeiter. Zach is highly suspicious. Uh Florian is definitely on my list. I need to talk. Florian allegedly had a dispute with some Bass House madam. All right, so I guess we have to go to the bathhouse, madam. Something very bizarre is happening here. Yeah. Uh, Carrots that'll make you and your family happy. Uh, bath yeah. House. Yeah. What are you here for? What the... So her tone changes all of a sudden because I'm actually coming to question her about something? I hear you're at odds with Apprentice Florian. She always at asks... At odds? I'll give you at odds. It's that sod's fault they took my Esther. Poor girl. I shudder to think what's become of her. That character, that bathhouse maid, typically has a very nice greeting for everyone. Uh, I feel like that, uh, she's psychic. This this bathhouse proprietor is psychic. Uh, what exactly happened? This man came in wanting a bath, and Esther with it. She doesn't normally offer that kind of service, but I didn't see the harm, so I sent her in to him. And suddenly I hear screams. So I run out, and I see the bastard pulling her out of the tent and shoving her into a boat. 
Hmm. I'm sorry they took her, but what exactly has it got to do with Florian? They shouted at me to tell Florian that when he rises up, he'll get the girl back. Okay. I assume that Florian knows this, Esther. You know, village girls. They don't get much of a choice. Every other knave has a turnip for a brain. And if they don't, <laughs> they're relatives. And then some young dandy turns up who writes her little poems. What's the poor girl to do? And this is how it ends. She should have stuck with the turnip heads. <laughs> Where can I find this Florian? I'd like to ask him a few questions. He works in the engraver's workshop at the monastery craftsman's yard. And if he's not there, he'll be holed up like the rat he is oh, in the cellar the he rents from the baker. baker. He's afraid of me, for sure. Okay. I could have swore. Okay, I, I guess J-Man's having um, an epileptic seizure or something. What did the bailiff do? What did the bailiff make of it? Huh. Don't even get me started on that. He's another fine... I won't say what. <laughs> I told him everything, but he says he won't do nothing about it. How's that then? He wouldn't tell me to my face, of course. But people here don't think much of us. There's some as reckon my Esther deserves what she got. <sighs> Poor girl. Hmm. It sounds like you were close to Esther. I loved her like my very own. She came to me as an orphan, like a wolf child she was. I raised her and taught her and gave her a job, and now she's gone. Who knows if she's even alive? Okay. Uh, I'd like to know more about the kidnapping. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. Uh, okay, well, I guess we're done. God be with you. See, now she's all sweet and gentle. That was very odd. That's the first kind of, um... Thing like that that I've noticed in game, uh, but her attitude definitely seemed changed based on the game knowing that I was coming yeah. to question her about Esther. Uh, so yeah, yeah, feel like we've uh, exposed a little yeah. bit of a a flaw in the game. Not that there's anything at all wrong with that. So she, is, yeah. he's below the baker. Huh. I guess I just was completely mi misremembering this because I thought I thought he lived in the basement. Yeah. Anyways, whatever. Um. All right. Uh, we need to talk to. Him. Hey, Florian. My humble greetings. How may I serve you? You look quite sprightly for an invalid. What? Who the hell are you? My name's Henry, and I'm making inquiries for Sir Radzig Kobola. And what do you want from me? Straight to the point then. All right. I've been investigating counterfeit money and the trail led me straight to you. Does the name Rapporteur mean anything to you? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe? Don't bother. I know you know him. You make the punch dies for the counterfeiters. How do you hand them over? Do you know where their workshop is? I can't say anything. I'll deny everything and you've got nothing on me. No evidence, just accusations. Uh, but you, you just incriminated confess. yourself. <laughs> One man's word against another. Like I said, I'll deny everything. And do you really think that's going to help you? Your word means nothing. You've got the tools, the knowledge, and the workshop. The only thing missing is a motive, but I'm guessing it's money. I don't give a fuck about money. So what then? Those bastards kidnapped Esther. If I don't cooperate, they'll kill her. That doesn't begin to justify what you did. I don't care. This isn't about me. Listen, I'll tell you everything. I promise. But only if I know that Esther's safe. What, so I'm to go searching for her in the woods? I know where they're keeping her, but nobody will help me. And what can puny little me do face with those strapping great villains? Um... Hmm... Outweigh him in speech pretty heavily. And, yeah, actually, let's try Look, it. Florian, I'm sorry for what you're going through, honestly. But I'm not the only one who's after these people. As soon as they get wind of something, they'll be out of here and Esther will be gone with them. If Rapporteur finds I've told you anything, they'll kill her. 
Not if I catch Rapporteur first. He's here in town, isn't he? Yes, he is. They found me in the tavern one evening, caught me when I went to the ship pile, and they started to badger me about working for them. They? Yes, Rapporteur. And a night they called Sir Yezek. And then what? They explained what they wanted from me, and I told them to sod off. I'm guessing that didn't go down too well. It wasn't all that bad. <laughs> Very giant. They just threw me on the dung heap and left. And I thought it was just a drunkard's joke. But then they took Esther. How did you hand over the punch die to them? Rapporteur waited for me behind the church. I didn't want to give it to them without seeing Esther first. And did they let you? Yes, although I don't really know why. They took me to a derelict farm in the Scallet's Hills. Oh, my poor Esther, they'd scared her half to death. So at least you know she's alive. Who knows? It was a while ago. And they never let her go, even after I did what Wait they down, wanted. Robert. They said they'd be needing more. More punch dice? They wear out over time. And they have to be replaced regularly. Why didn't you tell anyone? At first I took it for a bad joke. And then, when they snatched Esther, there was nothing to be done. Right. Where will I find Rapporteur? He's usually wherever I am. What does that mean? He watches me. Everywhere I go. And when I'm at home, he sits on the bench in the square, watching my house. So he's there now? Hard to say. Sometimes I see him in the tavern on the green, buying supplies. All right. At least I know where to start. And you go to work tomorrow, you hear? Why? Because we have to lure him out. And besides, your master will surely be glad to see you. I have my doubts. All right. I suppose I'd better go. Go. I hope you get revenge. God be with you. Quite the little hovel you have here, dude. Uh, all right. So I think we can just kind of go out here and Florian's going to go walk away and we should be able to see Rapita following me. Hey, Rapita. Are you Rapita by any chance? Pardon me? Do we know each other? No, but I'm hoping to change that. Uh, um, well, <laughs> I, I don't have much time right now. I'd best be off. It'll only take a moment. Um, all right then. What do you want? I know that you spy on Florian. I know you were involved in the kidnapping of the bathmaid, and I know why you're doing it all. Ah, uh, it seems there's no point making excuses. None. Now tell me where their workshop is. Of course, of course. That... that will be the best solution. So? Uh, let's leave it for another time. Then you try to run away? Yeah. Ugh. I do this right in front of a guard. Yeah. So, are you ready to talk? I will. I will. Just don't hurt me, please. What do you want from me? Tell me where the workshop is. Don't worry. Your master won't be punishing you for betraying him. You're both going to have too many other problems. It's in the Scullet's mines. That doesn't narrow it down very much. On the eastern side of Scullet's Hill, there's an abandoned mine gallery. Well, it used to be abandoned. Now there's a small camp in front of it, and the workshop is inside. Who is your lord? So Yezhek of Ronoff. That's what he calls himself, although Ronoff Castle's longer. Your Ulrich's help. All right. Uh... Happened to what Ronoff happened to Castle? It? Ronoff used to belong to Vincent, Ronoff. Count Lichtenberg. After his death, it fell to Margrave Jobst, and he had it pulled down. He knew full well that Vincent's vassal... Why? Everyone knows that when a lord dies without issue, the king can confer his... But Vincent had descendants. 
Ronoff only fell to the Margrave because he declared them all ill All because Vincent had refused to fight for him against Sir Prokop. Okay. I feel like this is uh, a little extraneous um, background on everything. Yeah, the, I, that's something that I, the, the first time I did this quest, um, I had a similar thing happen. It's like there was a guard right there in the square. And I think I actually chased him down with my sword and the guard didn't even say anything. So, yeah, it seems like, uh, I guess we could maybe, to try and make it right, we could say that uh, the guards in town have been keeping their eyes on Rapita and they kind of know the guy's a shady character or something. So they're going to let you get away and the guard just walked right between us. Uh, that, that's about the only explanation I can come up with. They're, they're okay with uh, you doing whatever to Rapita because they feel like he's a shady character anyway. Who are you anyway? They call me Rapita. I used to be the executioner's henchman in Brno. And how did you come to be serving? Well, okay, what's Yedra? going on? I helped him escape from prison. If I was going to serve anyone, better Sir Yezhek than the executioner. So you saw being a brigand's henchman as a step up in the world? I thought if things changed and he stopped marauding, he might get run off back and take me into his service. Well, after this little escapade, you can forget about that. You'll be lucky if you don't end up swinging on the gallows. It's all the same anyway now. I've betrayed him. All right. So who's the Yezhek working, working for? for? Don't tell me he just took it into his head one day to start forging coins. That's not for me to know. So Yezhek was on speaking terms with various lordships. Such as? Oh, nice. We were often guests at the monastery, but I slept in the hayloft, so I heard nothing. And apart from that? Well, in the camp, you'd occasionally see a Hungarian nobleman, but I don't know what he was doing there, or who he is. We know who that is. I think I've heard enough. Right. Can I ask you something? Yes. I don't want to hang. It's a horrible death. Oh, that. This is what I was remembering. Here and now. Uh, I am not gonna kill you. An honourable death? No chance. It's the dungeons for you, and the sort of punishment a counterfeiter deserves. Don't worry. In time, you'll be glad of the gallows. Uh, oh, shh. Hopefully we're in the jail in Sasau. Yeah, okay, we're still in Sasau. I... Where in the heck is that? I didn't even know this existed. I don't think we did this. Last time I think we went ahead and gave him his wish. And uh, we killed him. That's what happened was that we killed him. And uh, I did so. And uh, there were guards there. And they just kind of were like, eh, well, whatever, nothing to see here. Um, all right. So what did we, what did we learn here? Uh, we need to go, we need to go secure, uh, Ulrich is, Ulrich is help. Uh, and go to the, oh yeah, 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 I remember this part. All right, um, agenda. Ulrich should be, Ulrich should be back at, uh, the inn. Watch out, guard. Yeah, you kind of walked into that. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. All right, Alric, we're going hunting. I finally found out where the forger's workshop is. I Master Fafar was right. The forgers hey, are sticking close to the supply source. Their workshop is somewhere in the mines. The entrance is on the eastern side of the hill. I've no idea what to expect there, but I'd rather go there with some backup. I will be glad to give in. Lead on. Uh, does it transport us right there? Okay, we need to get uh, armor on. Uh... Guess we can, uh, uh, we'll put these on. No, not the pointed hat. Mm, or that. Okay. 
Um, yeah. All right, weapons are equipped. Uh, wait, where's my bow? Was it a cumin bow that I was using before? I guess it was. And uh, apparently, sleeping in <laughs> this morning has my brain all foggy. Uh, all right, let's do this. Uh, but, um, all right, without a hit, without a oh. Is this it? Maybe? Wait. Ulrich, okay, Ulrich is going the right way. Yeah, without without a uh, a marker, even on your HUD at all, makes these kinds of things where they fast travel you. Who's that? What have we got here? Entertainment. Well, Are we just uh, going straight to battle? Okay, we are. Ah, raise the alarm! Watch out! Um, You're twitting. Hey, all of you! Gather here! Raise the alarm! Oh, dear God! No! Raise the alarm! No! Uh, what? Oh, we're chasing somebody? Uh... Did you get away, Ulrich? Mm, these guys don't look like they're gonna have anything worth looting, really. Mother of God. Oh, well, he had a thousand dollar piece of armor there. It didn't look like it. Okay, uh, what stop? Ooh, a decent weapon. But, uh, I mean, where's your Hooper's axe? Oh, wait. Where did. Where did Ulrich go? Did he. Did he go into the mine? What in the hell, dude? Ulrich? Oh, whoa. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, he did go into the mind jogging. No, not at all what I wanted to do. Okay. Let's keep our mace out. Shit. Uh. Oh shit. I kind of now remember. Whoa. What the? That guy was running. I think Ulrich means to go ahead and just outright kill one of these guys. And we have to kind of stop him. Find the counterfeiter's workshop, okay? <laughs> that was all very bizarre. <clears throat> all these guys, upward. Jesus Christ, who are you and what are you doing here? I'm here at the command of the royal hetman, Sir Radzig Kabila. And who's he? That's no concern of yours. I'm sure we could come to some sort of agreement. Uh, I have plenty of coin. <laughs> we can come to an agreement that you'll keep your mouth shut. Oh. 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 Ah. Please, don't take this personally. Wait! 
What? Do you want to do it? Be my guest. It gives me no pleasure. You can't kill him. I have orders to take him to Ratai. Uh, that is we unfortunate. Have I have orders have to, to kill everyone involved in this Ulrich business. here, I believe. You can't do that! I have no choice, as you are aware. Why do you want to kill him? He may have valuable information. For that exact reason. My master does not wish this what man the? to fall into the wrong hands. Especially those of Ransom Villa. <laughs> There's a guy back there trying to hit Ulrich. Um, I'm not going to let you kill him. The world is not so bad, <laughs> boy. We were on the same side for a while. But no oh, problem. boy. That is how it goes. I already beat you once. Uh, you don't have to go back to the Rosenbergs. How do we know about the Rosenbergs? Master Fafar recognized the writing on your letter of passage. <laughs> Just as I said. Okay. Uh, the bug. The bug. Would you suggest I go? Into Sir Radzik's service? He needs people like you. I serve Kubila. Out of the question. If he learned of all that I did for the Rosenbergs, he would hang me from the nearest tree. But you are right, I do not have to return to the Rosenbergs. In fact, I cannot. Why not? I am a knight without the crest, without the legions. No one was meant to know whom I serve. If the Rosenbergs hear that I have been found out, they will see to it I vanish. They cannot afford to be associated with me. Where will you go then? Where the road takes me. As I have many times before. Of readers <laughs> end. You are in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> uh, what do you? This whole thing got all right. So, <laughs> it, for those that are paying attention. Uh, yeah, so because I tried to loot a couple of bodies and Ulrich went ahead and took off ahead of me, I, d I don't feel like Ulrich did that in my blind playthrough. I feel like he more let me take the lead. Um, but I'm thinking maybe because of the nature of hardcore, um, where you can't actually see on the map where you're at, um, that the game was giving Ulrich the lead here. And so Ulrich went ahead forward into the to the mines and we followed behind him. There was already one of the guys running out past us um, because Ulrich had been there. Um, but so there was Ulrich getting there created um, a uh, a conflict situation in as far as the game was concerned. And so the other NPCs went into combat mode. Um, but I wasn't there to start this whole dialogue, so it, it created this glitch. So that one guy that was sitting there trying to hit Ulrich while we were talking, um, that was just the game like, hey, we're in combat mode. This NPC needs to try to kill these people. Um, so, yeah, quite bizarre. One of, the, one of the very few glitches that we've run into like that in this game um, where... NPCs were doing something that they shouldn't have been doing um, because some part of the quest got slightly broken. Um, so, yeah, I feel like in the beginning, the game was very glitchy. Um, and uh, from what I understand, there were even quest breaking glitches and things like that. Um, but they seem to have patched most of that by now. But we seem to have found a little bit of a loophole here <laughs> that's uh, that's got the game into a glitchy mode. But uh Bottom line is, uh, Ulrich, uh, Ulrich is here for one purpose, and that's to kill the counterfeiters. Um, and we just can't let him do that because we need to get this guy taken back and, and questioned and um, get more uh, to the root of who's doing this counterfeiting. So we now are put in the unfortunate circumstance of having to fight Ulrich. But Ulrich seems a little bit glitched as well. Why do you want to kill him? He may have valuable okay. information. I think For that maybe happened reason. because of the combat situation. My master does not wish this man to fall into the wrong hands, especially those of Radzik Kobila. Okay, so we, we're back here. You're a traitor. 
The world is not so black and white, boy. We were on the same side for a while, but no longer. Uh, if we tried this already. You don't have to get hard master into so ah, but why not? Ah. Where were you getting? Well, readers here. So is he leaving? Where's the? Where's the guy? Oh no, he is. Yeah, the game is really bugging out right now. Forgot. Um. Need to... Please, please. I... You can talk all you like, but not here and not to me. Let's go. All right. So we didn't have to kill. Let's go, Ulrich. But I think that's Master Faithar is very of a to me. I think Ulrich got kind of broken there. If you come back days later, he's dead on the ground. Ulrich is dead. Good work, Henry. Thank you, Master Fafar. It wasn't easy, I can tell you. I'll take some men and have a good look around there. And what should gotcha. I do? You should get some rest and go to Rate. In the meantime, Sir Radzig will have this wretch questioned. Maybe he'll get something useful out of him. All right. I'll see you in Ratai then. I think you need more coffee, John. All right, so we're heading back to Rate. Um, did we have any other quests going on? That's right. We <laughs> we we lost at our proving test with the band of bastards because we weren't wearing armor. Um, we need to stop back. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't think there's a way to break into the monastery. Um, I think we have to leave that for a little bit later. Uh, trying not to give as many spoilers as I possibly can. Uh, but we will be getting into the monastery at one point. So I feel like we have to leave this one until then. Rather than trying to break into uh, the monastery and find that book. Um, I mean, knowing what I know, <laughs> I feel like we could possibly break in. If we could break into the monastery. We could possibly break in at night time, but most definitely not during the daytime. There, there are people everywhere all day, um, but at nighttime, everybody goes to bed at roughly the same time. But yeah, I, I, I think it's just going to be easier to wait until we're inside the monastery legitimately, and uh, we can do that. Uh, Okay, we need some deer antlers. Who's that for? Black Lukash. Lukash. We never did do that quest. I'm interested to know if that goes anywhere. Uh, get the necklace back. We need to go do that. We need to go do that. Um, that is up here northwest of Sasau. Uh, yeah, over here, uh, kind of over by where we found the, uh, the guy with the Moldavite, I believe. I think that was right here in that same general spot. Uh, yeah, the guy with the Moldavite was here. Yeah. Okay. So we need to go, uh, out to the monastery, up to the monastery and out to the west. Yeah. The bloody tears of St. James. I really, I wonder if you could actually kill that shyster guy. <laughs> he just really gets on my nerves. The, the guy is just preying on people's gullibility. Um, yeah. and, it, and I hate those kinds of people. Yeah. All right, so we're just going out this way.
Yeah. Four time reminder. Try to get Oda as weaponsmith. Oh, gotcha. I think it's the first time I saw it. Yeah. Is it is it now that uh, that that part of the quest will get triggered, Jawogi? Yeah. The uh, the spat between him and uh, him and Zach. Yeah. So there's the little stand of woods. Leave near this bridge right here. That yep, 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 yep. Failed to search who works with copper. Oh. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. I mean, I did ask all the people. Mm -hmm. I think that yeah. was a. I think we got screwed on that because I, we did ask all of the weaponsmiths and um, blacksmiths in the area. All right, where is this guy just in this general vicinity? Yeah. And we're we're looking for, sorry, what? Uh, we're looking for, um, oh yeah, yeah, the, the guy that got the necklace from Hans. Uh, oh, well, from the guy that Hans lost the necklace to. Uh, I don't... Hmm, I don't remember this exactly. Uh, the, the search area is quite narrow. Doesn't include much here across the bridge. Okay, we've left the search area. I did see like a piece of clothing on the ground. Let's go back over here. Let's get off course. Uh, okay, left the search area. Oh, well, duh, right there. Uh, let's be prepared, I forget. Oh, uh oh. He dead. Uh, hi. How's it going? Are you after something? I'm afraid my friend here won't tell you much. Your friend? Oh, I'm very sorry. And, um, well, I don't want to be insensitive, but I was hoping to get something from him. My master's necklace, which he won at Dice. Your master? Who would that be? Well, Sir Radzig Cobbler of Scalitz is my liege lord. I'm Henry, but just now I'm helping Sir Hans Morning, Capel Astro. with a, um, How's it going? A, a private matter. Those are weighty names in these parts. I'm Sir Anselm of Donkey, in the service of... <laughs> you well, donkey. It's not important. I'd like to give you... That is... I'd like to ask you for your help. Um... I don't think I can help you. I've got a pressing task of my own to deal with. I understand, but we can help each other out. You see, I think I know where that necklace might be. You do? Well, I'm all ears. The thing is, this is all my fault. I got held up on the way to meet Alphonse. By the time I got here, I found him like this. Ah, God have mercy on his soul. Amen, lad. I was heartbroken and enraged by turns, tearing my hair and cursing. Alphonse was my good friend, and it pains me to know he was only here on account of me. I brought him into a certain business matter to negotiate with some people, and he agreed. And this is how it ended up. 
When I finally pulled myself together, I took a look around and found some tracks. I followed them to the camp of those very brigands that Alphonse was supposed to negotiate with. Yeah, you can't trust anyone these days. So how can I help? You can pass yourself off as Alphonse. Get into the bandits' oh, camp. Oh, yeah. Find that fucking murderer. And when you do, you'll find what you're looking for. So, I believe when we played this, when we got here in uh, the in my blind playthrough, I was very suspicious of this guy that he was actually telling the truth. Um, but... Spoiler alert, he actually is telling the truth. Um, hang on one second. Jorge, uh, then still some more people to talk with, like the bookkeeper from the monastery. There's also a flask of mercury near the soccer. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so that that is the other thing um, that I really enjoy about this game is that there are, as I've said before, there are multiple ways of completing quests. Um, and I'm finding now in my second really full playthrough that, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I missed in the in my first playthrough. And um, even in my second playthrough, I'm missing certain things. Uh, even though I'm trying to be, you know, fairly complete with the playthrough, not like a 100% or anything like that. But, um, yeah. Definitely interesting stuff, uh, Jorge. Um, all right, so... Uh, disguised as... Well, that doesn't make any sense. If one of them killed Alphonse, he'll know I'm not him. No, no. They never saw him before. So whoever killed him surely took him for some passing merchant. Are you quite sure they don't know him? Aye. He moved in altogether different circles. Among decent people. That's the very reason I asked him for help. So I reckon the best thing is for you to introduce yourself as Alphonse, have a snoop around, and come back to me when you find out anything. Uh... No, I didn't ignore him last time. I did go on this little quest. Um, I just was highly suspicious that he was trying to manipulate this situation to get him to do some dirty work for himself or something. It was my feeling. Uh, let's see. Why don't you do it yourself? Now, wouldn't it be better if you did that yourself? After all, I know nothing about this Alphonse. They'd see through me. I'd do it if I could, lad. Only they know me. And I'm not on the best of terms with them. They'd most likely kill me on sight. <sighs> then the two of us would be dead and those bastards would get away with it. Well, I hope I can avoid the same fate. Uh, what do I need to watch out for in the guy? Is there world? anything else I should watch out for while passing myself off? The main thing is to look and sound like a noble, not a peasant, a commoner. So dress the part. No rags or... All right. Uh... Can I and how am I supposed to recognize... Killer? Ask around. I don't reckon anyone will admit to stabbing him in his sleep, but okay. now that I think of it, they stole other valuables. Silver is silver, though. I won't recognise anything. Didn't he have something unique? Uh, no, not that I can... Oh, yes, uh, the he dice, did. Yep. Dice. He had a set of dice made specially in Prague. It was his pride and joy. Red and gold. They were and red shiny. and gold, bright and shiny. All right. Um... What can you tell me about Alphonse? So they don't... Indeed. A few details should suffice. From Slanny, but lived in Prague from Slanny, the last few years. But lived in Prague the last few years. He okay, advised from people. From Slanny, lived very in well Prague. Too. He helped them to deal with problems. Of all kinds. Yeah, he sounds like a man of the world. But I've never even been to Prague. You can always change the subject. He was an ardent dice player, God forgive him. And he spent some time in Moravia. Okay. Uh, negotiations with. What was, what was the purpose Alphonse of Sir Alphonse's negotiations? I'll need to know that. Look, Henry, you'd best avoid that subject if at all possible. Just find them. It'll be a bit hard to avoid that since it was supposed to be the entire purpose of his visit. True. Well, 
Alphonse was supposed to talk Earhart into Kalu. moving his robbing raids going? towards Benishoff, especially holding up merchant's wagons heading for Prague. In return, he was to offer a reward of up to 12,000 groschen and safe haven in Pilgrims. I see. So you work for someone in Pilgrims? No, neither Pilgrims nor Benishoff. Nor Vlasheen, for that matter. Damn politics. Uh, what do you know about the... Actually, they're not just ordinary bandits. It's a robber baron and his band. Sir Ehar Baron Bielowitz. Some of his vassals and maybe some... They came here in the hope they'd have a better chance of keeping their head. Why don't you ask some of the local lords for help? I'm sure of the... <laughs> There's nothing I'd like to see more than the lot of them strung up. Only I have a task that conflicts with that. Hmm. And as for the custodian, I'm pretty sure Sir Sebastian uh, is in okay. league with Ehar. All right. Uh, what a mess. Word. The whole thing sounds like... So are you going to help me? Mm. Interested to see what he says if I say that, but I'm I'll not help gonna. you. Thanks a thousandfold. And for the love of God, don't get caught. I'd never forgive myself if another man lost it. I'll bear that in mind. All right. Okay, so... Oh, looks like he died without a struggle. Maybe killed in his sleep. They took everything he had. Money, jewellery, even his boots. Fell asleep behind the laptop yesterday. <laughs> uh, all right. Um... Someone was searching for something here. Were they out to rob him of everything he had, or something in particular? Is, do I still have a mission to like search the area, examine the scene of the crime? Yeah. Could it be someone was trying to get rid of something Orch here? Map. Forge map. Well, didn't it say that was like a quest item? Not something we took into our inventory. Oh, wait, there it is. Uh. That. Hmm. Okay, so this map is kind of twisted. That's what I was going to say. That river looks odd. Uh, so it's... Uh... Interesting sight. That almost looks like that's what that's pointing to. So... Why would they make a map and give it to us this way? <laughs> uh, it's throwing my orientation off. So... At good maps, there's always a north arrow, and I, yeah, but usually they have the arrow, the north arrow pointing north to, to help you for orientation. At least in games, they will. Um, so, so that's a north-south running part of the river. Okay, so that's got to be over here that they're talking about and it almost looks like it almost looks like right here where we're at so across the there so there's the bridge across and then there's the um i, could, I can't use my mouse as a pointer uh so right kind of below and left of the sasau there's the bridge crossing and then there's a little camp, and then north of that, it looks like there's a shallow crossing. And where we're going is west of that. So it looks like... So here's the big... Yeah. Oh, duh. It's telling me right there. 
Okay, J Man's being a little silly. All right, so we we uh we're right here, uh, I believe. Yeah, we're right here ish. Uh, we need to go north along the path to the shallow crossing. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, and our search the area thing is gone. Let's get Pev or uh, agenda. For some reason, I was feeling like they were they were gonna make us figure that map out on our own. Uh, yeah. I I'd rather be right down closer to the river so I can see that shallows. Yeah. All right, yeah. here's the shallows up here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, okay, I did see that there was a north arrow, but the north arrow was pointing to the left on the map. Most maps will orient for north being up on the map. I think you're I think we're talking past each other. I I saw the north arrow, but the north arrow was pointing left. On most maps, they orient the map so that north is up, right? That's what I was trying to say. Uh, we were coming up from here, right? Uh, oh, more out this way, actually. What is that? Some sort of like a, a deer stand or whatever? Uh, I don't think I ever saw this before. Is there something up here? Huh. Almost like a lookout. What is that down there? Oh, wait, that's right. We don't have anything that zooms in for us. Uh, all right. Oh. Uh, sorry, agenda. <laughs> you don't. You don't need to come up here. Uh, all right. We need to go this way. Maybe I should have kept Jenda. Thought it was fairly close. So yeah, up on this rock wall, we're we're still in the search area. Oh wait, we're. I think we just got into the search area. All right. Uh, I'm gonna actually. I need to get into um, non-armored condition. Uh, 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 I'm gonna wear, wear those hose and not the other green and yellow ones. Uh, where, where's my other stuff? Did, what did I, did I put stuff to horse on accident? I did. I need these back. Uh, I want to see what that looks like. Actually, what if we go this and those? Uh, that. Oh, damn it, I just did it again. Uh, I'm having a bad brain morning. Uh... Uh, no, nah, I don't like that. 
like that. Um, so, all right, so that and that. Or hat. Oh, what? The. Okay, that's what we're going with. Um. Okay. The Shady too. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. This camp of our of their oh yeah, there we go. I was gonna say it was more than just like tents and stuff. Had buildings and everything. Grab it. Hello, rub it. Right, they're playing a, a dice tournament. I can't forget who it was. It was the guilty party. Found yourself at the campaign. Would I be right in assuming this is the encampment of Sir Earhart, uh, Baron Bilevets? You must be Sir Alphonse, eh? All the way from Prague, eh? Yep, that's me. Uh, well... Not at all, Goodman. Uh, from Slammy. Ah, well, that's quite a haul. How was your journey? As well as might be expected in these perilous oh, times. Oh, aye. The roads ain't safe at all these days. There's all sorts of rabble waiting to rob unwary folk and even kill them. Indeed, indeed, I concur. One must be wary, huh. well, cautious, Henry putting on airs when traveling. Right then, but you'll have to wait a while. Sir Earhart is busy at the moment. No matter. I shall just, uh... Ah, but it's easy to pass the time here. There's always a dice game going on, with nice things being wagered. I had my eye on a fine pair of gauntlets and some old piece of jewelry. Uh, jewelry? Uh, that's right. Just go and see old Blaha, the fellow sitting at that table there. He can read, write, and do sums as good as any scribe, and other things, too. Thank you. I'm um, I wondered, it looked like I, maybe not, I thought maybe my jacket had a little, it does have a little bit of damage in my boots. Uh, let me see if I can just go ahead and fix that up real quick. Uh huh. I don't have don't have any cobbler's kits though to fix my boots i don't think i've got any on horse either uh no N well oh i do have a cobbler's kit uh-huh cobbler's okay and i can go ahead and move these back okay wifey honey <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be working? Uh, let's see. All right. Um, oh, Blaha. This guy here. Uh, let's kind of very hard lock. Uh, Let's talk to old Blaha. I was told I could have a game or two here until Sir Earhart has time to see me. Hi. Elgo, what's going on? He's got his hands full at the moment. You must be Sir Alphonse, eh? I'm Blaha, Sir Earhart's servant. I take care of... Including dice? It has come to my attention that there are interesting things... Hey, true enough. We've got a fine pair of plate gauntlets, two necklaces, one of them's a lovely piece, a good sharp sword, and some other things. I don't remember what. The custom... Uh... Oh, 
fucking sick head. Far be it from me to disrespect to stop. Thousand? Uh, let's, let's bargain, uh, barter just a little bit. Since it's you. That's not it. Fuck. I'm almost sober. Thank you, sir. Thanks. You want to play right away? Yeah, I'll play. Why wait? No beating around the bush. You'll play against Noggin now. He's not the brightest, and he ain't a good loser. So we need to, like, question these guys a little bit, right? Uh, I only have one die. Oh, playing to 6,000. No one to rob you. Oh, that'll help. <sighs> so tired. Uh, let's, uh, one roll again. Oh, look at there. I'm so hungry, I can eat my boots. Uh, I thought I had three ones. Uh, alright, well, one hold. One pass. Uh, does this guy have, uh, we're looking for the dice. That's the, that's the other part of it, yeah. A gold and, red Fuck. and gold or something, I think he said? I'm almost sober again. That's three ones. No one to rob you. Six thousand. That's a long ass game. Us. And you got a five, I think. Us. Six and a two. do this and try our luck ah. the shady two hello yeah looking for cool looking dice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whoa okay Fuck. I'm almost so bad again. One, three, four, Can't five, six. No more today. Yeah, missing the two. Oh, four, five ones? Uh, I think we just won. <laughs> You're a fucking cheat. <laughs> Sir. I challenge you to a duel. Really? Sure. I won't take any accusations from you. I accept. Duel. Ah. Fuck. He's bleeding already. Huh. You give? Uh, You're not getting off scot-free. Pay up. So be it. Mike, what's going on? You gonna take your sword? Alright. Uh, did that interrupt the dice tournament? Where'd old Blaha go? What? Blaha? Blaha? What? Play dice. I want to play dice. You'll have to wait a while. You have to wait a while. I don't remember this from last time. So I guess we're gonna talk to some people. Sweet. Fuck. Can I have a word with you? What do you want? What's your story? 
You don't look like one of them at all. I ain't, true enough. I'm a local. I don't go raiding with them. When they're here, I just look out for them, bring them supplies and that. And what do you do when they're not here? Whatever's needed. But being the go-between for them that set up the ambushes pays well. And you don't have to... Alright, so this guy is I'll definitely not the guy. Uh, he's just a... Uh, he's just a grunt. Um... Mladada. Mladada. Can I ask you? Ask away. You're Mladotta? I am. Just curious. This is quite an interesting... You could put it that way. I ain't been here long, though. I helped them out of a tight spot and they took me with them. Yeah, you and me both today, mate. <laughs> uh, is that right? Well, I was lying in wait for this wagoner scene. Because he'd been mouthing off about me, so I figured I'd take all he had for compensation. Anyway, I'm hiding there in the bushes, and I hear this wagon coming. So I jumped out to ambush him. Only it wasn't that wagoner, but some merchant. Yeah. As soon as he saw me with my weapon drawn, he started screaming well, bloody murder. And next thing, his armed escort comes charging up, and I was the one ambushed. The injustice of it. Mm, vexing indeed. Sounds like I, the Anyway, the they merchant called me and took me that... with them. They figured I was Sir Earhart's spy, Ulrich and they wanted again. me to lead them to again. him. Of course, I told them I didn't know what the fuck they were on about. So, while they were threatening to break me on the wheel, string me up and what have you, along comes the Baron with his merry band, and they lay into the soldiers and send them running for the hills. And ever since then, I've been riding with them. Ain't it just? Hmm. If it hadn't been for Oops. me, the fellows would have run straight into a trap and it'd all be up with them. So, it's on account of me, they're still... Why do you know for this shit? Okay. Uh, and how are things here? We ain't allowed to leave. So I've been here the whole time. I don't mind, though. There's always something to pass the time. And we've got that wench. Okay. That's all. Alright. Uh, so it doesn't sound like he's our guy. He's just a bandit. Are we back to playing dice? Fucking boring. Fuck. Uh... Can I talk to the guys while they're playing dice? Berta, that must be my next victim. Fucking weather, fucking tent, fucking camp. <laughs> Alright, I want to play dot. They fell your way last time. You'll play Berta. He's a man, but they call him that for some reason. Damned if I know why. Uh. Think everywhere. Should have stayed home. Should have stayed home. Hmm. Fuck. I'm almost sober again. Oh, ones. Uh, hold. Don't you need to save? You're playing almost an hour now. Uh, yep. Probably do need to save. Guys are a bunch of bitchin' moaners. Gonna quit? Oh, three ones again. I'm so no. I, oh, I thought that was three was a one. Uh, no, we don't want that. Oh, go! Yeah, oh, I'm gonna get soaked. What else is there to do here? I'm almost sober again. Yeah, I'm gonna get soaked. What else is there to do here? <laughs> yeah, we heard you the last time, but Oh! Brit, bust! Bust! Alright. I don't want to rob him. Uh, one, two, three, uh, four twos. Camp life shit ain't easy. Fuck. That's only like 400, but fine.
killing, fighting, never losing, robbing, fucking whores and boozing. Take the women, burn the village, drink annihilate and pillage. Burning, what a song. Making strife, how sweet it is, a robber's life. Don't even say that. Yeah, I'm gonna get soaked. What else is there to do here? In three sixes? Bella, no man. Yeah, we'll play conservative. I'll try to move this thing along. <laughs> Filth. Stink everywhere. Should I stayed home? Whoa, 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 there. Oh, I need a good scrap to cheer me up. Are you gonna stop now? Damn. I gotta piss. Uh, Alrighty then. Oh, bust! Son of a... <sighs> this guy is in a... I gotta piss. On a streak! You? A century? You're having me on. No, it's true! He's gonna bust and lose all of his... Well, I... I made candles for a monastery. No. Nope. He made candles so the monks can shove them up their arse. Uh, okay. <laughs> I would think that the game is going to steer us to a... Good grief. Steer us to a win. Shitty day. Because to we have to play the guys to find the dice. And if we get crushed out of the tournament, we're kind of... No way we can find the dice. It will be fucking boring. Cat life sure ain't easy. Fuck. No one can rob you. That was one, two, three, four, six, right? I didn't just throw away no a straight. No one rob here. Fucking boring. Uh, he is so far ahead. Um, I think I need to risk it for the biscuit. Nope. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm gonna get soaked. What else is there to do here? Filth and stink everywhere. Should have stayed home. I definitely didn't save, Helga. Oh she my day. goodness. I he just won. Good scrap oh. to cheer me up. Fucking sick head. Can't drink no more. Okay. Uh, get up. You can go and see your air heart. Okay. Uh What else is there to do here? Fucking lies. Fucking go and see Sir Error. Uh Oh, hello. Sir Earhart, I presume. The blessing of our Lord Jesus Christ upon you, Baron Belovets. I'm honored to make your acquaintance. <laughs> the pleasure is mine, sir. We haven't had any interesting visitors here for a long time, and I'm keen to hear what news you bring. And then there's the matter of our trade. Indeed, we certainly have much to discuss, sir. Good. And how was your journey, Sir Alphonse? Long and somewhat fatiguing, truth be told. Ah, would you rather put off our talks until later? <laughs> right, Eric. Uh, get straight down to business. Uh, hmm. Uh, we don't know the business. If you wouldn't mind, I would rather postpone our talks until later. The journey has left me somewhat, um, indispensed with... Of course, I quite understand. 
Go and get some rest, then. We'll meet later and thrash everything out properly. Uh, surely I can't pick that chest right there. Uh, all right, let's see what the quest log says. Um, uh, da -dee -dee -dee. let's see, I've gotten, I've got to get back. Uh, Ransom of Don Key asked me to find out who murdered his friend Sir Alphonse and bring the information back to him. I need to keep my eyes and ears open around camp for any clues. I better tread carefully. I don't want to end up like Sir Alphonse. It seems the necklace has ended up in the pot for the brigands' dice tournament. All I have to do is throw some dice, beat everyone, and win the pot, which we failed at. Sir Earhart will now re will receive me now, but Anselm warned me to avoid negotiating with him, easily betray myself, and say the wrong thing. All right, so we did that. So how are we to... Do we just... Uh, I'm thinking... I'm, I've got a couple of ideas. So we could Burning, wait Burning, around, Burning, we could see who tail. wins the tournament, and we could follow them and uh, rob them, or we could try watching the dice tournament and look for the, <clears throat> for the fancy dice. Hold on. I feel like... Malad Ma, Ladota? I'm feeling like he's our guy, it. Petruna. Can I just play dice with this guy? No. Another question. He's Petruna is the guy that just helps another out question. around camp. What do you want? Uh Can you tell me this place? It's been here as long as I can remember. Anyway. One time I had to lie low for a bit, so I came Killing here and ran into these gentlemen who pay good coin when you bring them some wine and a... Why did you have to disappear? Oh, nothing terrible. Just that I was courting this one girl, only her old man and her brothers didn't take to me. Besides which, she was promised to some rich merchant. Once they had her married off... Okay. I'll leave you to it. Alright, um, so... Hmm... Noggin. Can I ask? I have nothing to do. Oh, he's the guy what that accused us game. of cheating the first time? A good scrap to cheer me up. Birda. Can I ask you something? Ask away. Don't you leave the camp at all? What are you trying to say? That we're shitting ourselves here? No, no. I was just wondering if you knew what's going on around these parts. We come across hunters now and then. Or pilgrims on a the road. There are charcoal burners nearby. Sometimes they pass the time of day with us. But we've got no course to cross the river. That's too close to Sasa. Tell me, sir. Why do you want to know? You want to spread the word about what a good dice player I am? Yeah. I was... You know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. But if you must know... Berta? <laughs> ah, you heard of me, have you? The scourge of Vlashim. No man who felt the edge of my axe lived to tell the tale. And why are you hiding out? I wouldn't call it hiding. We just... From what? Things were getting a bit too hot for us. Nobody bothers us here. I'm so tired. Hmm. You cheated. I'm not going to let you get away with cheating. Ah. And here was me thinking there'd be no fun to... Why am I using a sword? Oh, that's my mace. It looked like a sword <laughs> for a second. Uh. You're not getting off, Scott. So be it. What the? What happened? What did I? <laughs> What Is happened? Wait, 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 what happened here? Hey, get off my dog! Yeah, did that hurt? I alright. Yeah, here's here's where not having saved is a problem. Ha. Um alright, we just lost all of our progress. <laughs> 
What did I do? Was it the accident? I accidentally hit right mouse and kind of took a poke at the... Yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Okie dokie. I don't... I mean... I accidentally, like, hit my right mouse button and I took a poke at the guy after I had had him pay. I'm assuming that meant that I... I stepped out of bounds and I attacked the guy. Oh, John, where were you <laughs> with your... Be sure to say... No, I'm just joking, John. It's totally my fault. Um, yeah. Cyber, hello. I don't think I saw you stumble in. Uh, all right. Well, it is what it is. Um, we need to go... Uh, where, where are we at? I forget where we even were. Um... Yeah, I was playing. I guess I, I guess I could have saved when I got up from the table with him. Um, yeah. Um, all right. So get the, some wayfaring on Opelman. I've got to get back Sir Hans' necklace. That's not what we're doing. We're doing. Uh, we're doing this. Uh, find this. Find out who. Oh well, we can actually go back and do those couple of things that Jawogi had talked about. Um, there was somebody in the, you said there was somebody in the monastery that we can talk to? I, yeah, I thought I had more dice, honestly, than just the one shrinking die. The bookkeeper at the, at the monastery? Um, so, up, up here, or, or actually somebody from the monastery, that's the overseer's hand, overseer, brother, porter, uh, up here? Uh, none of these are worthwhile. It doesn't give more experience. It's only in the name of doing things more accurate. Gotcha. I mean, I'm interested just to kind of... Oh. Are you guys uh, coming back anytime soon? So... No! Damn whistle. Uh, quickly. Dried bulletus. Dried robe venison. Huh. Let's put that to horse. <laughs> hmm. There's also a case with Florian. He's sitting here usually. The lock. Can't talk to that guy. Uh, that's not really a door. A uh, church. Oh, this isn't, this is a room. It, it looked like uh, maybe a little chapel. Uh, what time is it? Midday. Uh, it's midday. 
Uh, maybe if we, uh, maybe if we just, uh, wait an hour. It, it was lunchtime. It looked like everybody was going to eat. So maybe that's why people weren't up in the, the office up there. Improved drinking. How did I improve drinking by waiting? <laughs> uh, overseer won't talk to me. Overseer's hand won't talk to me. Uh, Brother Porter. Uh, he's just going to tell Can me I take to a fuck look off. Inside? What's got into you, boy? The grounds inside the monastery belong to the monks of the Lice Order and of roll. Saint Benedict. Thank you for the follow. No others shall pass. Yeah. Good luck to you. All right. Uh, okay, well, we're just going to go back and, and do what we did before, I guess. This is just like a door out, right? Or is that a door into the monastery? Coming along nicely, but something's taking a fancy to some of my... Uh, yeah, you, uh, you missed me... <laughs> Uh, challenging a guy that I played dice at, um, I accused him of cheating, I beat him in combat, uh, and then I accidentally took an extra swing at him after I had told him to, uh, pay up and I would let him go, and it turned all of the camp against me and they murdered me. Um, so we're back to the, uh, back to where we started at the beginning of the stream. <laughs> so, yeah, you're, um... Your reminder for me to uh, save, uh, I I failed the save and it fucked me pretty much. So, all right, uh, the that overseer's hand. It should be, should it be? Oh, yeah, I did forget to save. Explain mm. your habit of poking your opponent after. <laughs> Well, that wasn't really what I was doing, <laughs> um, but, uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, the overseer's hand, yeah, he won't talk to me. And I, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, alright, I, you know, honestly, like you said, Joroge, it's, it's really just more of a completionist thing. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go talk to the bath maid. I think that's where we were at, right? Um, yeah, yeah, we need to talk to the bath maid. Uh, or the proprietor. So we're just going to fast forward ourselves through a bunch of this. Uh, it's about time to call it an episode. I think we might as well... Um, you know, I'm wondering if uh, it might not be a bad idea for the sake of... For the sake of... The playthrough. Yeah, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and, and save... Uh, call this an episode here. Uh, we'll go do a quick music reaction and be back for the next episode. So, uh, thanks everybody that's watching out there on YouTube. I hope you have a really great rest of your day. Hope to see you soon. Peace.